Hey everybody, welcome back to Straight Up Podcast. Today we're going to be talking about eight tips for a perfectly flowing podcast. But first, before we get started, if you're thinking about starting a podcast, but you don't want to research how to get all this fancy equipment, how it works, what gear works best for your budget, or you don't want to spend time editing your podcast because that takes hours and hours and hours, or even researching what really goes into making a successful podcast. What are the most successful podcasters doing right now that makes their show so popular? Check us out at www.straightuppodcast.com or check out our podcast pod logic, where we provide really short, actionable episodes on how to immediately improve your podcast. Or if you're new to podcasting, speeding up along the process of launching your podcast. All right, enough of that. Let's talk about eight tips for a perfectly flowing podcast. Now, this is the video version of an article that I wrote for the podcast business journal. So uh, the link to that will be in the description below if you want to read that. So this is the video version of that. And we'll jump right into it. One of the most commonly overlooked aspects of podcasting is how you structure the flow of your podcast. And while there's not necessarily an industry standard, these are eight great ways uh, to structure the flow of your podcast to where it seems extremely professionally produced and it seems like a really high quality show so we'll start with number one the teaser these work extremely well for interview podcasts so if you're interviewing an industry expert on let's say astrophysics maybe you're bringing on neil degrasse tyson and this teaser is essentially going to be a 15 to 30 second blurb on something really interesting that happened in the episode, maybe an interesting thought from your guest. Maybe it's a funny moment that happened between you and your co-host. It doesn't necessarily have to be if you're interviewing somebody. It can be just you. Um, it's a funny moment, interesting thought. Throw this at the beginning of the episode. It's going to really keep your listeners interested. It's going to give them a little peek inside of what the podcast is going to be about. And it's a great way to introduce the episode and introduce your guests. So throw that 15 to 30 second teaser at the beginning, uh, layer it over your intro music, and boom, you've got a professional sounding introduction to a fantastic interview or podcast episode. Number two, your intro. Now this is going to be podcast specific. This isn't going to be episode specific. So this is an intro that you're going to have in all of your podcast episodes. And this is really the time to introduce yourself and introduce the podcast. So it gives an overall sight into what your podcast is going to be about and what your listeners should expect from tuning in. And since this is going to be in each of your podcast episodes, you're going to want to keep it short and sweet. Okay. Keep it ideally around 30 to 60 seconds. And as your audience grows, your listeners become more loyal. They're going to get the gist of what your podcast is about. However, new listeners who are tuning in for just the first time, they're going to get a better idea and gain a little bit of insight on what your podcast is and where it's going to take them. Number three, your episode intro. So this is going to give more specifics on this specific episode of the podcast. So explain the topics of each uh, or for this specific episode. And if you're interviewing a guest, uh, use this as a launching point for introducing them, maybe their accomplishments, who they are and why they are worthy of your listeners time. So if you are going to be interviewing a guest and you're going to do one of these intros, I would recommend that you record this intro after you record the podcast. That way you can touch on one or two different things that you talked about during the episode. And it's going to be a little more episode specific. It's going to give them a little more insight into what they can look forward to in this podcast episode. Number four, your disclaimer. So if you are working in an organization, maybe you're an executive or maybe you're just a you know lower level employee that has a podcast separate from your job. It's important to differentiate the host and the podcast from the organization. Sometimes organizations will require you to do this. That way, you know, any views that are expressed on the podcast don't necessarily uh, align with the organization. You want to say that up front and cover all your bases from a legal standpoint. So we use these for a lot of our podcasts here at Straight Up. And uh, here is an example of one that we use for one of our real estate podcasts. So feel free to rip this off and just use it for your own podcast. So host name is... CEO at company X. Any views or opinions expressed on the podcast by the host or their guests are solely their own and do not reflect the opinions of company X. This podcast is for informational purposes only and should not be relied upon for, in this case, real estate or investment decisions. So you can tweak that to however you want. Feel free to throw it in your podcast. Uh, if this is just you running your own podcast, it doesn't necessarily you know, relate to your company at all don't need a disclaimer but in some instances you will need to have this in your podcast so number five the content okay this is what your listeners came for so the content should flow smoothly transition easily from topic to topic and be void of any noticeable errors from either your host your guest your co-hosts 
The meat of your podcast should naturally provide useful information for your listeners in an entertaining way that's going to leave them anxiously waiting for more. So again, this is why your listeners tuned in. This is why they're tuning into your podcast and it's good to entertain them and make sure that it, it you put the work into editing it, making sure that it flows smoothly, all that jazz. Number six, this is the wrap up. So if your listeners have made it this far, it's time to thank them for tuning in. Thank your guests for coming on. Allow them the opportunity to plug their stuff. So if you've had a guest on the podcast, they are doing you the courtesy of coming on your podcast. So do them the courtesy of allowing them to plug their own stuff, whether that's their company, their products, their services. Maybe it's a blog, maybe it's a website, maybe it's even another podcast. So again, they did you the courtesy of spending their time being on your podcast and they did it for a reason. It's probably to plug their own stuff because they want to get themselves in front of a whole new audience and they're bringing information to the table. So do them the courtesy of letting them plug their stuff, even if it's just for a minute. Number seven, your outro. So your music is fading in. You've done your podcast. Now it is time to thank your listeners again and uh, appreciate them for being loyal listeners of the podcast. Now's the time to plug your own stuff. If you listen to Pod Logic, you'll notice at the end of every episode, I plug the YouTube channel, I plug the website, uh, because people may not necessarily find me through the company website or find us through the YouTube channel. They could find us through Pod Logic. So it's a good way to let them know that there is that other online content out there and available for them. So plug your stuff, plug your stuff, plug your stuff. You can also use this as a teaser to the next episode. So who the guest might be, uh, what topics are going to be covered, and when those upcoming episodes are going to drop. It's a great way to keep your listeners engaged and keep them following the podcast. Number eight, your call to action. So this really ties in with your outro. And this is where you ask your listeners to do their part in helping grow the podcast by one, subscribing to the podcast two, leaving a five-star review, or three, even writing a quick review on how they enjoy the podcast, that they really like you, and they really enjoy listening to the podcast. So explain to your audience that by engaging just that little step further, by doing those things, by subscribing, reviewing, rating, it's going to help the podcast grow, and it helps the listeners feel like they're a part of the show. Uh, and it's going to allow the listeners to tell other people that they find your content to be extremely valuable and that they really enjoy what you're putting out. Boom. Congratulations. You have now constructed a perfectly flowing podcast. Now, depending on the type of content that you're producing for your show, feel free to pick and choose from any of these eight steps. Maybe you use all of them. Maybe you use two of them. Maybe you use none of them. But remember, there is no real industry standard when it comes to podcasting and constructing You know, the A, B, and C flow of your podcast. It's like the Wild West. But um, these steps are the best way to maximize the listener experience as well as take your podcast to the next level. So those are eight steps for a perfectly flowing podcast. Again, if you want to read the article in the podcast business journal, it is in the link below. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, check out pod logic right there and check out our website, www.straightuppodcast.com. And we will see you guys on the next video.